Here's how to get better at hitting in MLB The Show 24. I'm going to preface this a little bit. I'm not a top player. I'm not a top 50. I'm not a top 100 guy. But let me break it down this way for you. Some of the best coaches weren't the best players. Look at Ted Williams. He was a terrible manager. One of the best hitters of all time couldn't coach his way out of a paper bag. Who were some other notable hitting coaches who got fired unceremoniously? Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds. But you know who a good manager was? Jim Leland. This guy didn't even make it out in the minor leagues, but he's one of the most revered managers of all time. Take that info. Pretend I'm Jim Leland. Let me teach you how to hit. So from the main menu, I want you to scroll down until you can see this button, custom practice. But before you do that, go down to your settings. Go to your gameplay. I put mine to legend just because it's a higher level than I'm used to. Now, there's a couple of different ways to go about hitting. I recommend that you go with zone. Zone will let you have the most control over your input and whether you get rewarded or not. You can do directional, but it limits your ceiling. You can do timing, but it limits your ceiling. Zone lets me have control over the entire strike zone and move a PCI around the plate coverage indicator. Now, PCI anchor is something they added in the most recent editions of MLB The Show. I keep mine as preset and then the anchor reset is game. That way I don't have to keep changing it between at bats or between innings. PCI anchor dots, I don't need that on. I feel like I know what I'm doing, but whenever I want to change, I'll show you how to do it once we start up. So there you go, plate coverage indicators on. That's very important. That way you can see where you're moving with your joystick. The PCI center, inner and outer. There's three different things you can rock with here. Personally, for me, there's many different ways to do this, but I prefer the bat. It just makes me feel like I'm actually swinging a baseball bat, you know? So I keep nothing else there. The PCI color yellow, you can also change the color if you'd like. Whatever makes you feel better or more comfortable with. If you can see one better than the other, go for it. The opacity, I keep it 80%. That's basically the transparency level of it. PCI fade out, I don't want to do that. The hitting camera can also be pretty important. I choose strike zone because that gives me the best view of the ball. Same goes for pitching, we'll do that for the next video. The in-play view offense, whatever helps you see the runners in here, I just always like the broadcast camera because it's like the camera they give you when you watch an actual baseball game. I think that covers the options pretty well. Make sure to apply those settings Go all the way to the top settings sliders we're trying to get better so we're going to scroll down here fastball pitch speed we're going to turn that up a few notches i don't want to max it out to be totally unrealistic i'm also running off of like four hours sleep we're going to go three notches up because i want to get used to hitting those fastballs right below that is off speed pitch i'm not turning that up because i want to work on still waiting on those pitches when you go up levels in diamond dynasty or in mlb the show when you go up difficulty levels in MLB The Show, the pitches get faster. Fastball and off speed. But I'm just trying to work on waiting on the slow stuff while also being able to hit the fast stuff. Make sure when you back out, you save the options. Now we're ready. We go into custom practice. What we are going to do is pick the Yankees. But first, we're going to choose a team that we don't really want to face. Who has a bunch of good pitching? Let's face the long ball beasts. And we'll be the home team. I'll choose the Yankees. Uniform doesn't matter. Stadium doesn't really matter. We'll take Yankee Stadium. Let's get into it. Go to practice type. We're going to be batting. Now you can choose who's pitching and who's hitting. So this is the Yankee lineup. Lemay, who judged, da, da, da. I can't believe Juan Soto's a Yankee still. It's so cool. You can even hit with some of the pitchers if you're feeling that. Let's face Randy. If you want to work on facing a certain kind of pitch, you can do that too. You can up the frequency of how he throws it or where the pitches are being thrown over here, which is all pretty cool. Feel free to tinker with that stuff as you go around. I usually play on All-Star and Hall of Fame. That's where most of my rank games are. That's where the events are always on All-Star. Uh, BR is always on All-Star. So between those difficulties, I want to play on something that's faster than what I'm used to. And in years past, pitch speeds are faster online than offline, it feels. So I always go a couple notches up like I showed you in the sliders, and then we try to adjust. So that way, the pitches are coming in slower online than when we were practicing and we're ready to go. Another tip, make sure you get some control freaks. Depending on what console you play, they make their own kind of control freaks. These are for the PS5. I think these are called the, the Lotus. It's a mid-rise. You can get taller ones, you can get low-rise, you can get mid-rise. I'm actually waiting for the high-rise ones that I want. But we tried these out in the meantime at your local GameStop. You can get them from GameStop, get them off Amazon, get them off controlfreak.com. I'm not a partner with them. I'm just telling you they work. Some people also buy something called precision, 
Some people also buy what we call precision. Some people also buy what we call precision. Why can't I say that word all of a sudden? Precision rings. That's what people like to put on their on their joystick as well. They would go right around the outside of that, and it helps you minimize how much you jam your PCI around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is the center PCI like setting, but you can anchor it. So with my left joystick, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hold up and then click it down on it. And now, as you notice, it sits in a different spot because I can't hit high fastballs. So I'd rather do that and then sit low. That way, if a pitch comes in low, I'm already ready for that. And then God forbid he throws it high, I can kind of let it fly back up there. You know, it still centers higher than before. And there we miss. Afterwards, it shows you your swing feedback. It shows you the PCI feedback. I'm holding down the, the second trigger on the right side of the controller to take a look at this. So it says the timing was good, but the PCI, you can see my reticle was a little above the ball. So we got to fix that. What I'm going to ask you to do is take a couple pitches and look at where his release point is. We're going to try and track the ball. You can do it with the PCI if you want. Start here and follow through. Works for some people, not so much for others. As long as you can connect with your eye and your hand on where you want to go, you'll be okay. But I'm going to keep studying that spot. Also, I kind of wiggle the PCI a little bit to stay loose. Sometimes I move it around like this to keep fluid back and forth. Sometimes it's a little too much, sometimes it's a little wiggle, but I try to stop by the time he's getting close to, to the ball coming out of his hand. So here we go. That's fast, brother. That's fast. All right, we're sitting low. All righty, we're just late, so we can work on that. We're going to keep working on it until we get that. All right, now we're, we're a little under it. We're a little under the splitter. All right, it'll take some time. We'll get up to it. It's been like a couple months. Okay, the PCI could be a little better, but it's a good time swing. We're counting that as the home run. Also, let's talk about approach. Like right now, there's no count. You can do, um, you can go to team practice and this will actually give you a count. You can put runners on stuff like that. You can make a, you know, full count, two outs, bases loaded, pretend it's the bottom of the ninth. But we're just in the regular uh, hitting right now. Just pretend you're waiting for a strike. You don't have to swing at every pitch. You don't have to swing at every strike either. If there's two strikes, then sure, you got to protect yourself a little bit. But you got to make sure these guys are pounding the zone. If they don't want to throw a strike, let them walk you, man, you know? All right, stay alive. But yeah, especially while you're going up the lower levels of ranked and you're figuring out your rating, you're not facing all these top players. Some of these guys are wild. Some of these guys are afraid to throw it in the zone. So make sure they know they have to pound the zone. Here, we'll, we'll go into team practice and then we'll face... Um, We'll face Pedro because this will let you go through counts and go through your lineup instead of just one pitcher against one hitter. So now we got counts on the bottom right here. There we go. We made him throw a strike, so now we can prepare to swing a little bit. All right, way out. See, just because he threw a strike doesn't mean you got to swing at the next pitch either. Make him earn it. That is a weird place to put a change up, brother. I don't know how I laid off that on a legend, but here we are. See down. That's rough, Mike. Don't worry. Aaron Judge is going to save the day for me. That's a big bat, bro. And that's a big strike zone. Remember, we're doing legend with speed up, so we're going to work on this until we get a little better. I also do this before I go into rank usually, even if it's like 5, 10, 15 minutes, just to prep myself. You know why I do this? Because when I go online, I'm never going to be seeing Legend. I'm never going to see Legend with speeds being pushed up. No, we checked. That's Juan Soto. Do the shuffle. If anything, you can swing at first pitch or you can swing before he throws a strike. But really try to pick a spot where you go, I'm laying off unless he goes here or here or there. Right, we're ahead of that now. The fastball's scaring me. Stay alive. Stay alive. Another thing to note. When I'm swinging, I'm just pressing on... Ignore the fact I'm holding down R2 because we're just stopping him from throwing. 
but I'm doing what's called the normal swing by pressing on the X button here. That's the normal swing. If you want a power swing, you can hit square. And if you want to do a contact swing, you can hit circle. When you do a power swing, you shrink the PCI, but if you get the ball there, you get a good swing on it, there's a better chance of you hitting it further. If you do a contact swing, you're sacrificing power, but your PCI gets bigger, it's a little easier to put the bat on the ball. I don't really recommend doing either of these. I just prefer to take the normal swing with X. Perfect swing. We were one and two, but we fought. Put a nice swing on it. Let's face Rob Nen. Stanton's the next guy up. Swinging first pitch. We want that cheddar. He yanked it. Take. We're up to a full count from 0-2. And we made contact. <laughs> we'll see that famous Andy Pettit wind up. I love it. All right. Good piece. You can do a little better. I want something closer in the PCI. All right. We're on that. All right. Casually turn my head back in time to smoke that. And there we go. We have lift off. Control freaks, precision rings, those help. Be patient. Play on a higher difficulty, turn the sliders up on the fastball. Be patient. Create counts you might struggle with, you might stress out with, add runners on it that helps add the pressure and deal with it. Stay patient. Make them throw strikes. Like I said, I'm not a top player, but whatever skill you're at right now, it will improve if you do things like this. Hopefully you enjoy that, it's a quick video. Uh, but we also do a lot of no money spent content on this channel. We'll do some debuts. We have some fun content planned against guys with a real 99 this year. So if you're into any of that, leave a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and stay tuned for next time. Peace out.